Well, hey everybody, it's me, Jermaine, and I'm back with another episode of The Simple Truth. This is The Simple Truth Update. And today, what I want to share with you, the title of today's Simple Truth is going to be called A Lot of Purging Going On. A Lot of Purging Going On. Now, for those of us, the very few of us, that are Israelites, Hebrew Israelites, not to be mistaken or not to be confused with being considered or called Jewish or those fanatical people to stand on the street corner and cuss out white, uh, white people and anybody that is not quote unquote black telling them that they're the devil, those black Hebrew Israelites, but those who are of the faith of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, David, Solomon, Jesus, the apostles, so forth. Hebrew Israelites, those that followed the book, honored the Most High's laws, his statutes, and his commandments. We make no apology for being obedient to the Father and it is our goal to actually do what that Bible says had to kind of give all of that up front for those that are new to the channel or those that do not understand what an Hebrew Israelite actually is but what we are seeing in Israel is a purging a cutting away of the fat a cutting away of the unnecessary parts the dross is being removed and people for whatever reasons whether it be that they're caught up in feelings and emotions or whether it be they are just defiant they're being purged and removed from the midst of the true people of the Most High, which is a very, very few. It's not a lot. So because there is a purge, a purging going on, and there's a lot of purging going on in this season, because we are coming out of the season that the heathens have been, you know, making merry, and they have been doing their thing, that winter time, that dead season, you know, which starts... For, uh, right at about the end of October and it starts to kind of fall away by about uh, basically you know uh, probably about mid-February and then until the uh, then until the summertime comes they're, they're you know it's pretty much the dead season for them but this purge is right in direct line with the word says, where it says, straight is the gate and narrow is the way and few there be that find it. And I'm really coming to you very subdued today because it, it, it just amazes me how when I'm speaking for myself now when I say this. When I was in Christianity, how easy they made it seem that all you had to do is, you know, speak a few words. I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Now I'm saved. You know, I, I you know, go on and continue living the life that you, used, you used to live. But there are certain little things you can't do anymore. And because you can't do those certain things anymore because you're, you know, marked as being saved. And it was so empty. It, there was no fulfillment. I remember times, <clears throat> and I'm really going to tell it myself here, but I remember times when I used to make the statement. When people would bring up the Bible on certain things, and I'm not even talking about people that were, you know, lovers of truth or even you know purveyors of truth they would say 
hold on a second here. They would say, you know, sir, they might quote something from the Bible, and I would say, well, that is the Bible, and this is real life. I'm so thankful that the Father can forgive you when you repent from, from stupidity, from ignorance, and from just, you know, just blasphemy. Be but that in and of itself is how we were taught as believers from the Christian perspective that, you know, the only time most, most Christians pick up a Bible is when they're on their way to church on Sunday. And if there's any type of midweek, uh, um, meeting, whether it be, a uh, uh a Bible study and then for the most part that book you know it 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 it, be, it it collects dust basically it really has no intrinsic value it doesn't it doesn't really you know go you know the words and, and what's in it does not sink deep down inside of us and, and, and it's not written or etched on the tables of our heart. So because of that, I can understand that once you come to the knowledge of truth, once you realize who you are as an individual and you begin to get a clearer and clearer understanding of the expectations that the Most High, that the Father has for those that are His. It becomes, it becomes from this to starting to slowly come in and get narrower and narrower and narrow, narrower. Whoa, blah, blah, blah. say that three times fast. And so, during this time of reflection and introspection, not only do we witness and look at the and see the purging that's going on with the people, but we have to really and truly have a lot of purging going on inside of ourselves and purge out all of that wickedness, all of that, you know, thoughts and thinking of the old person, that we are doing everything in our power to kill every day. I am trying to spiritually murder, slice and dice that old man that I used to be, and it is an on going process you do not do something just one time after living almost 35 to 40 years believing and thinking a certain way and then just like Christianity taught us remember what I said earlier just a few words and it you're done no no see when purging is going on it is a daily process and I am so thankful to have a Jeremiah 315 pastor I am so thankful to finally know who my true family is we have a saying in our in, 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 in our um, in our in, in our uh, family that spirit is thicker than blood and the more and more that I work to purge out those things and that person and that man that I once was, that becomes more and more clear every single day. This has been the simple truth. And as I always tell you, it's the simple things that are oftentimes the most profound, but yet they're the most difficult 
to put into practice and to actually do. I want to thank you for joining me and I'll be sure to see you, you, and you again on another episode real soon. A lot of purging going on. Are you purging that which is in you that doesn't need to be there? And the only way you can do that is if you truly know who the Father is, the Father, the Most High, the Creator of the Universe. Take care, everybody. Have a good day.